Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So today, I put every team's best goaltender into free agency, and I will explain my methods right now. So essentially, what I did was go through every team, find their best overall goaltender, and put them into free agency. If there was a tie, then I would just go with whichever one showed up first, and in some instances, obviously... Teams only have two goalies, so what I'd have to do is go to another league, pass over a goalie to them, and then send the goalie to free agency. So, interesting point number one. Andre Vasilevsky wants $3.7 million per year. Igor wants 3.6. Hellebuck, 3.5. Same with Gibson. Carey Price only wants 2.2. Craziness. Flower down here with 2.2. So, uh, yeah, I've already counted and just made sure that there is 32 goaltenders here. But I will go through it quick for you guys once more. And I believe, yep, Kevin Lankinen is the final one. So it's, I went through it pretty quick. But if you doubt me, then, you know, I'm not doing your work for you. You can count it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's the goalies. And let's do this thing. At first, I'm just going to sim past the preseason. And we can go back and check to see how many goalies left just in this short time span. And I'm also interested to see how many goalies just remain free agents for the entire year. So if we go back here, goalies, sort by overall. Ooh, okay, so Markstrom is gone. Yeah, pretty much anyone 90 plus is gone. So uh, Vasilevsky, we also have uh, Demko looks like he's gone as well. Hellebuck is gone. Shesterkin is gone. There's a lot of goalies that went. Carey Price is gone. Interesting, but there is still a ton here for sure. Okay, well, you know what we should do is simulate up to the trade deadline because at that point, I feel like you're either going to be signed or you're not. And we'll come back just to see if there are any other goalies gone or maybe we should just check the lines and that way we could find out where the goalies went to. Well, Let's sim up to the deadline and we'll take it from there. Also, if anybody's wondering why I picked the Isles, it is because they were going to have an 87 overall goaltender regardless. Because they have Sorokin and they have Varlamov. So that was my simple reasoning. Are there other teams like that? Probably. But, you know, it is what it is. So let's get to the trade deadline and find out where these goalies went. We have arrived at the trade deadline and it's time to find out who did the what. So, uh, I'm not going to bother checking the free agent list again. Let's just go to view lines one at a time and find out which teams grabbed goaltenders. And the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim did not. The Arizona Coyotes picked up Kata Hat. I literally cannot say his name normally. It doesn't feel right. Igor signed on to the Boston Bruins. Andre Vasilevsky became a Columbus Blue Jacket. Chicago picked up John Gibson. Robin Leonard to the Avs. Thatcher Demko landed in Montreal. Interesting. Markstrom joined Smashville. And interestingly, Dave Riddick and him both have, you know, the same jersey on in their screenshot. Or screenshot. Wow. All right, yep, let's just move on. Holy smokes, what a duo. Carey Price and Flurry landed in Seattle. The expansion team is going off. Well, I should say the most recent expansion team. Tampa Bay lost Vasilevsky, but they got Bucky in his place. Not a bad replacement, I must say. And it looks like that's it, that's all. So, let's go and... Finish the season. I entered the deadline just for curiosity's sake, and Jacob Markstrom finds himself on the block. Well then, with the NHL regular season complete, it turns out the Jack campbell list Toronto Maple Leafs win the President's Trophy by three points there. They had Hutton and Mrazek playing, and we know that Columbus did pick up Vasilevsky. They ended up finishing second in the league with 107 points. And speaking of Vasilevsky, the Tampa Bay Lightning, who picked up Bucky, finished third in the league. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of scroll through here. And was it top 16? Oh, it actually was. You love to see it. That's good stuff. Despite having Flurry and Price, the Kraken still couldn't crack the playoffs. The Nashville Predators were unsuccessful in getting rid of Markstrom, but they finished 28th in the league. Not a great year for them. Oh, look at that. Spencer Knight, you legend. What a year for this kid. 73 games played, 40 wins, a 9-10 save percentage. He's up to 84. I believe he's normally an 83. Vasilevsky at 93. 
he did very well for Columbus. Uh, Casey DeSmith did very well, so he didn't move. So basically, two of the top three are goaltenders that were not placed in free agency. They are just there. And we got Grice here as well. Halak, wow, this is interesting, really. Of the nine here on the front page, only three of them were goaltenders dropped to free agency. So basically, one in three of the top nine. How did this happen? Igor Shesterkin's all the way down here with the Boston Bruins. This simulation is intriguing, to say the least. I would like to know what is going on. And the Golden Knights end up winning the Stanley Cup. Good for them. All right, let's have a look here at the awards, shall we? And I'm more so just interested in the goaltender awards. And I guess... Oh, man, Joe NHL! He's still there. I really got to delete that guy. Absolutely brutal. But anyway, I don't think he would have affected too much. So, DeSmith gets the Vesna, And, wow. Brassois with the William M. Jennings. That is... Masterful. Just in case anyone needed a reminder, the Golden Knights were the 16th place team. They were the last team to make it into the playoffs, and they didn't end up replacing Robin Leonard. They just went with Laurent and Thompson. So, that happened. Yeah. Here is the playoff tree that I will show to you just in case you are curious. But if you have any other video ideas, be sure to leave them down below. And I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you're having a great day. I'll see you soon.